Hello, welcome to my channel, Sparklama John. Um, I hope you're doing well. I um, I'm feeling guided to inspired, which happens through inspiration. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm feeling guided to. read my writing. Um, I'm not sure if I read this one, but, um, I may have, but it's okay. Uh, age 18. Um, open your eyes and see what is around you. There are many, many beautiful things and beings. Let the world know you care. I wrote, you can't change the world. There is light beyond high school. Don't worry, 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 worry. Things are the way they should be in your life right now. Let it be, let it be. Grow, grow, grow like a tree. Fly like a bird, listen to me, listen to your mother, listen to your father. Oh, why should you lead me so suddenly? Why, oh, why now water? I wanted to talk about that one. It doesn't necessarily have a title, but, um... I went away to a Quaker boarding school for my last years of high school, and it was a very moving experience. And I was given this book, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but I was given this book and it had a cover, and it had a fairy sticker on it. I was given this book by Jackie Stilwell, who was the head of the school, the meeting school, and I often talk about it to my friends this book. Ah, the school. And the book. Um, so... It was a Quaker boarding school, and, um... It was located in Ringe, New Hampshire, and now it's a self-sustaining community, from what I understand. And, um... I arrived there when I was about 17. 16, 17, and um, I had a really, I had a gay roommate, and uh, it was nice because we were both gay, and um, in high school I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't be open, and maybe a lot of people feel like that, um, but I just feel, I feel guided to talk about this. Um, so I'm not sure if I talked about this on my channel. But Aaron was my roommate, and then we also had another, um, we had another gay family member, and, uh, his name is, um, was Philip at the time, but I think his name is Ivan now. Um, but he would often change his name. But it was really great because I feel like in public school I wasn't able to be open and even, even talk to other gay people because I wasn't comfortable, you know, I wasn't comfortable in my own skin, I wasn't, um, acknowledging the fact that I was gay, that I am gay. Um, maybe you can relate to this, and that's why I'm making this video. Um, so the, the next poem that I'm about to read, um, I think I put it on my channel, but I'm gonna do it again because why not? Um... Philip and I, we went into the woods, and uh, we brought we brought um, a candle. It was a, I think it was a white or pink candle, and um, we had matches or a lighter, and and I also brought glitter because I wanted to see if we can communicate with the fairies. So this is this leads into this this poem. So I want you to see, show you, you know, look. I put a rainbow sticker there. And, um, 
I wrote, you know, I, I put what age I wrote these poems in. So this next one, I hope you enjoy, is called The Different Kind of Life, and I wrote that at age 18. And I want to, I'm, I'm going to, I am working on um, formulating them into songs. Shiny, sparkly, translucent, iridescent, diamond-like glitter, trails of glitter. Here come the fairies, such beautiful, beautiful creatures, oh, 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 if they could only communicate with us. That would be such a beautiful blessing. Oh, how incredibly wonderful, sprinkling primroses all over the ground. Crystals surround them everywhere they go. They come and they go as they please, such brightness, souls from another spiritual realm, wandering with full faith in God, sprinkling dusty glitter all over everything and everyone. I believe, do you believe in fairies? Making every form of life growing, 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 beautifully, foxgloves, primroses, ragwort, wild thyme, cow's lips, pansies, bluebells, clovers, St. John's wort, hazel, white oak bark, cohen, buckthorn, oak, willow, elder, birch, alder, apple, ash, toadstools, and fairy ring mushrooms. And that completes a different kind of life. Here's another one. Wonderful, wishing, hoping we were all new. New is not to be known, but to be shown the unknown spiritual knowledge. Sitting, thinking, believing, and seeing new spirits in this world but in the inner world of faithfully focused souls. Maybe we already paid the tolls at the gate which we passed through already before. Silent purity awakens inside of me. People wondering why I've changed. People change for reason. Or don't ask. <laughs> you know, teenage angst or... Uh, not really angst, but maybe. Um, but, you know, individual. We're individuals. So this is another poem. Consider this my poetry book as in video form. Um, this one's called Bedroom. Age 18. I'm sitting on the peaceful, calming, relaxing, fulfilling blue carpet, bathing myself with these words and melodies. Oh, all those memories of my childhood. Could I ever start over so I could become more pure inside? I think that was a judgment on uh, that I put upon myself. Yeah. Which we often tend to do, you know, in life. And uh, surrounded with white blinding light, dressed in white, releasing my energy out through my mind, hands and fingertips. Thoughts embracing me with courage and security balances my goal in life. Is in balance everyone's goal in life? Wishing I was surrounded by Geminis and Libras, waiting, seeking for the truth, striving, reaching high, searching for God. Will I ever see him again? Wishing he could help all the suffering ones all over this physical plane, feeling this inner turmoil blocking me from succeeding in my meditations, feeling energized more than I've ever felt in my life, wanting to give the human race this energy to survive and live in spiritual harmony. Night is bright, living and feeling like an empty bottle inside, waiting to be filled with motivation. Sitting, leaning, and thinking, my back pressed up against the side of the bed. Staring at my closet door, attracted to the light glistening on the floor. Coming in from the starlight, blinding, amazing, untouchable sun lit up the sky of an unpredictable morning day. I remember this, and uh, it, um, I think I was on the floor of uh, my friend Marsha's house. Um, we were in high school at the time. I think I was in high school and she was in junior high, I'm not sure. Um, but I remember writing a lot, because she was very creative too. Sat saying. Age 18. Satsang mean, in Sanskrit means to sit in truth. 
When we go to satsang, we see such beautiful souls. We go to satsang to develop receptivity and unconditional love for the Master, for God. We also go to satsang to develop love for each other and everyone. Satsang is a place where initiates and non-initiates go to meditate and listen to the Master's beautiful words, God's words. We should always go to satsang and get away from the, our daily life. Satsang is a place of love, peace, and harmony, which is gained when everyone goes. I love going to satsang and listening to the words. I also love meditating in such a beautiful environment. Satsang is a place where all satsangis go and get embraced by the love of, the go of God. Satsang is a beautiful place. Go to satsang and take a break from your doings and sit in a harmonious environment. Sometimes there are online satsangs. Um, I really like the kirtans that are here on YouTube. Um, especially um, Janavi Harris, Harrison, I think. The Future. And I also like Gaia Sanskrit as well. This one is titled The Future. The future is not here yet, it is still the present. Enjoy the present while it still exists during the day. Keep your mantra going all day long and sit in meditation if you will. Of course people worry about the future, it isn't of existence. The future is just ahead of our time. The past is gone and now we are in the present. Please be extremely careful of what you say to people during the day. You don't know what kind of situation you may make for yourself. I was very wise back then. Um, okay. Try to hang in there, please. Everything is meant to happen for a reason. Just try to be patient and relax. And be at ease with yourself. Don't worry. Be happy and grateful for what you've got in life. Don't dwell in your worries. Please let destiny come when it is time. Your expectations will come. Don't stress out on life. Take a break. I even said take a break back then. Or um, God was speaking. Because I believe that when we write, God speaks to us. Um, our guides, angels, guardians, earth guardians. All... Okay. Okay. Don't give up. Perseverance is the key to the future. Just be yourself and stop trying to be someone you're not. Don't escape from reality. Maybe I was, these are judgments on myself as well. Don't bury yourself in the books. It's okay to bury yourself in the books. Um, reading is fundamental and um, helps us, to, helps our writing and our speaking and uh, so much more in life. On um, a good book or reading poetry is, is like sitting next to a friend, is being in the presence of a friend. I wrote, face your fears. The future is yet to come. Relax, sit back, and enjoy the ride of life. We are not here for eternity. And then here's another poem. The body is just a temporary covering of the soul. The path of Samad is a path to improve yourself. You can call the Guru or Sadguru a friend, or God a friend, or older brother or father, but always obey him and do your spiritual duties. I wrote. Um. I don't know if I showed you but these. This is picture. Uh, I mean, the the page of my words and my handwriting, you know. And then this is the next page. With some doodles. I was always doodling, grounding. Okay. Next, aura, age eighteen. Purple and blue are the colors of you. Purple and blue are the colors of you. This is very true. Your energy is new for you too. We are the crew of the purple and blue. Oh, so you knew? Purple and blue is who? Purple and blue is what I see around you. Purple and blue are new. 
and that was titled Aura. Next one, okay, so I'm going to talk about Aura. Aura I wrote about um, when I discovered, so I w we would go into town and um, someone would drive the van, um, a house parent. And um, one time, story time, one time, one time we went into Keene, New Hampshire, and there was this really cool New Age store, and it's called Amber Moon. And so I went in there, I, th I don't know if I talked about this on my channel yet. Um, so you know when you go into a store, um, a bookstore, well now is a different story right now, but um, you know, you go into a bookstore and then you let your intuition um, choose the book for you or your higher self or God universe. And uh, so that's what I did. I was scanning the books, and I felt this energy come over me, and um, I found the Indigo Children books, and I was immediately drawn to them, and uh, I pulled the book out, out off the shelf, and I read the book front to back. Um, I couldn't put it down, and I really resonated with it. And, um... But we're all special and unique in our own way. And, um, so the Indigo Children, um, well now Indigo Adults, uh, are, um... This woman started seeing, uh, the color Indigo around these certain individuals, and, um, so each, each generation comes in with, um, a set of spiritual gifts and talents. And, um, so I was really, really, really into, uh, the Indigo Children. I bought the Indigo Child and also Indigo Celebration. And, um, I really resonated with it. And I looked around and I was like, oh, wow, I'm surrounded by Indigos as well. Um, I'm surrounded by like-minded people. So I just feel really guided to talk about this. Um, so wherever we are in our lives, um, hopefully we, f we find our soul tribe. And um, I feel like I found soul tribe um, where I currently work. And... Um, in my life, but people come and go into our lives. It's just, that's how life is. Um, okay. I don't know if the video is getting long. I wrote, take care of yourself and be aware of your surroundings. So I think I'm going to stop here because I don't know how, how long of a video, um, YouTube allows you to o upload. So, um, it's my new, um, background. Um, and, uh, my husband put it up. And I'm grateful that the cats are calm. And, um, thank you for listening to this video. And, and if you're interested in content like this, give it a thumbs up. And, um, if you feel inspired, please leave a comment, you know, and, and um, to connect with each other and subscribe to my channel, if you want. All right, um, I'm going to end the video, and uh, really there is no ending, it's always an, a new beginning, I like that saying. With every ending become, comes a new beginning. Um, okay, sparkle on namaste, om shanti, in in good health and uh, in peace and joy and harmony sparkle on namaste see you soon next video